Hello everyone, uh, last couple of videos I have showed you how to install OS, how to configure uh, OS and how to configure and install package on the OS and how to configure NFS mount point. Now I will uh, install the SAP platform edition on the multi-host. So you, uh, you have to go to those videos and you have to check out, check it out and you have to configure and this is mandatory part to install that HANA so yeah uh, let's start so what I did I installed uh, the SAP HANA platform edition from the SAP marketplace and I just transfer from my local machine to the uh, HANA server one that is IP address is 1 on 5 and after transfer what I did I just right click and I give it the full permission uh, to that uh, HANA system so that's it so let's begin so what I have to do we have to go to the root the host then uh, actually there are two type of installation one is um, console mode or command mode and another is the graphics mode so today I will show you how to install in graphics mode and later in another video I will show you how to install in command modes so basically the concept is same it just different way so I'm logging to the SAP HANA, the server one. So because I want to install in graphics mode, so I I need to install. I, I need to log into the HANA system directly. Otherwise, I cannot do in uh, Putty. So I already logged in in so let me start I have to go to this directory where I store my media that is cd hana media then data so here we have to go to that HDB cds db yes, yeah, server double slash and for the command mode we have to execute HTML cm but we are going to install through the graphics mode so we have to execute this GUI command so here press enter so here just next install new systems so if if you already install you can see the on previous systems and you will also find the new system so it's the new machine so it's only one what is the install new system press next so that is some additional so it's already selected that database client so I just keep as it is next 
so single host system multi host system so now we are installing in the multi host systems so that is the reason we have to select multi host and root user password and here we have to add new host that is a hana srb basically that is the one uh, hana one is the primary server and hana srb2 is the secondary server so actually what is the rule the we will install the worker rule or standby rule worker rule is the it's always uh, i mean that two system will uh, run simultaneously but standby if one is failed then secondary the standby system will start so i am selecting the database worker so let me select this one and everything should be default just press ok and press next Now we enter the SAPANA system ID uh, that is db1 next ok that is a location next password next system password next sap adm password try to give the same password for all so that you can remember easily now press enter install now is installing so that is the last part so after installing successfully you can just see the log file it will not take that much time to take install So here installation is done so now you can see that all successful you can see the view log from here uh, but I just click on finish so now we can connect our newly installed server database with the HANA studio let's start with that actually it's already open so that's the reason so now here add system we know the primary server that is HANA service 1 instance was 00, zero. next and the system password next finish
system cannot be reached so here if we log in new duplicate session db1 adm sorry it's typing was wrong duplicate session db on so here hdb info so here database is stops so we need to start let it be start after that we have to try we have to start uh, database from the HANA studio as well so now you can see that we installed the HANA system in the multi host so if we log in to the second ser server we can see the same status like HANA DB2 we can log in the same user that is DB1 ADM like if we see the HDB info it still is running so if it is able to start the database you can see the change the status so that is the main beauty of the uh, multi host system so both systems are sync the both uh, host systems are sync together so there is the reason if once host is failed then other host can take care or take over immediately without any downtime okay so let's wait still it is working so now the database is started so if we check from here okay so it started now if we try to connecting from here let's check see now our database is started and we can uh, connect to the SAP studio so now if we double click here we can see the information uh, basically that is a part of uh, HANA DB administration part but we'll check the basic thing that everything is connected properly so um, generally it, it should not take that much time but uh, there is recording also running on that monitor probably that is another reason for that 
Okay, so that has is a little bit slow, but I let it come. See now you can see the uh, distributed system that is yes. If it is a single host, it should be uh, no. And you can see there is two host. So if we see the landscape here you can see the uh, all a uh, server or service is running that is the like index server that is the main server uh, is running host one and host two so so that is the everything is fine actually so our installation is done and in the uh, hana db administration video i will discuss in details about that uh, monitoring or uh, configuration part for the studio thank you